Hi friends, my name is Mohit and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Support. Friends, today we will learn how we can install Windows 10 through PXE from WDS services. Uh, guys, I hope you under, remember that I have uh, installed WDS server in my last video. Now, in this video, we will see how we can install Windows 10 through PXE. So guys, let's start. Here you can see that my WDS server page and uh, now we are going to the Hyper-V machine. Uh, Hyper-V manager so and in your case if you are have a separate WDS server so and so you can connect your laptop or desktop on your network and connect with the LAN cable and just restart the computer and press F12 for the uh, for for booting from the network so guys this is a virtual machine so first of all i need to create a virtual one but on your case if you are trying to install a physical system then you have to follow that step which i told you just few minutes ago so now here i am going to the new one new virtual machine here i am going to the next client pc so clicking on the next Next, next, so I am connecting with the TSC network on the same network. Next, client PC, clicking on the next. Here I am choosing the install and operating system from our network based installation server. Clicking on the next and finish. Now it's creating a virtual machine. Now my client PC is there. Now I am right clicking on this thing and click on the connect one. So now here I need to click on the start. After that, it will ask me, it will boot from the network. Here you can see that here you can it's, uh, it's searching for DSCP IP address. Now it asks me to press F12. Now you can see that it's booting from the server. My server is the IP address is the same 10.2 uh, where I have installed the WDS services. So guys, I am maximizing the screen. Now it's a, uh, uh, I hope you remember that I have uh, configured or upload the two files, boot.vm or install.vm. So guys, now boot.vm file, vim dot file is working or initializing and or loading, you can say that. And after that, when it will load, then install.vim file will work. Or, on start the installation. So guys, it will take some time. Uh, let me pause this video. Welcome back friends. Now it's asking me to select the location. Now you can see also that it's a Windows deployment service here. So now I'm clicking on the next. Now it's asking me to the uh, uh, our my administrative ID and password. So I hope you remember I have created one administrative ID Mohit. So I, I will use uh, that ID. Putting the Mohit and password. I am now I am clicking on the OK one. Now you can see that we have selected only Windows 10 Pro. Now I am selecting on the next. Drive option, new apply. Click on next. Now you can see that installation is started. Now guys, it will take some time. Let me pause this video. I will resume when this installation will be completed. Let me pause this video. Welcome back friends. Now you can see it's asking for a reason. So I am putting the here India. Here India. Clicking on the next. So here it will take some time. Let me pause this video. It will take some time. 
welcome back friends here is asking for the us layout so us is okay skipping the layout other layout so let me pause video again it will take some time welcome back friend now is asking for the windows 10 license agreement i am accepting this thing now it's again configure the things let me pause this video again Welcome back friends. Now it's asking me for setup for personal account use or you can use uh, for setup for an organizational if you have this thing. So you can use as per your requirement. Let me pause this video it again will take time. Welcome back friends. Now I'm creating an offline account because I'm just putting the demo purpose. So this tracking, let me pause this video. It will take some time. Welcome back friends. Now it's asking me limited experience. It's taking so much time because thing is that my memory is um, RAM memory is very getting low due to this installation because I have 1 GB RAM only for this thing. So here I'm putting the user one, clicking on the next, putting the password. Confirm password. Clicking on the next. So it's asking me to support the question so I can put any anything. So but you can select your question as whatever you, you, you can remember. So here I am nothing. Just click on next. Now it's asking me to accept these privacy settings. So I am okay with this. It's again configuring the things. So guys, let me pause this video again. Welcome back friends. Now you can see the installation is completed. Now you can see it's already connect with our network techsupport.com. Here you can see that. And uh, now uh, this uh, video is completed. So guys, uh, I hope you understand how we can install the Windows 10 through PXC and I hope you like my video and if you like my video then please share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel then please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.